Happy New Year, Rockets family. We are so excited that we get to join in with you guys. We cannot wait to see all that God has in store for us for this new year, to go deeper into God's word and just to grow together uh, today. So before we get started, can you guys put your hands out, clap them together, and let's bow our heads and close our eyes and let's pray. Dear God, we just thank you, God, for this great day that you've given us, God. We thank you, God, that we get to come together in this new year. We get to join in and just uh, just learn about your word together, God. Just learn what you're saying to us, God. We thank you for all these beautiful kids, for their families, just for directing us and guiding us in everything that we do in our lives, God. We just give you this time. We give you this year, God. We just pray that we would grow closer to you than ever before. We just thank you for all that you do in our lives. We give it all to you. Aaron, and pray, Jesus, and everybody said, amen. Rock Kids, welcome. We're so excited to see you today. And I have someone I want to introduce you to. This is Rudy. Say hi. Rudy. We're talking about resolutions today. We are. And we helped Rudy with a few of his Rudy resolutions. We're trying to help Rudy with his resolutions. He needs resolutions. Yes, he does. He's a baby. Mm -hmm. He's not very good at a lot of things. So our resolutions are, go ahead, Rudy. Repeat after me. Number one, don't poop in the house. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good resolution. Okay, what's the second one? Well, he ain't gonna answer because he's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> to eat all of his food. That's Yay! what we would like for him to do is eat all of his food in one time. Okay, what's the third one? Don't chew mommy's carpet. I right, yeah, one. yeah. That's that's not good to eat. And going chew. back to the poop thing, that doesn't help at all. Because, you know, do we have a anyway, last one? Yes, sleep through the night. That's a good one. Just sleep through the night. That'd be a good resolution for him to sleep through the night. like a real baby. Yeah. yeah. Really, it really is. So we wanted you to say hi to Rudy, and like, let's let's hope Rudy keeps his resolutions this year. All right, Absolutely. say goodbye. Bye. See you later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
Hey, Rock Kids, glad you could join us today. We are in a brand new year, 2021. We finally made it to 2021. So glad. And, and I, I know, I know. And there's some things that we do at the beginning of every year, and it's called resolutions. Now, I've got some New Year's resolutions that, I, that I'm going to be working on, and one of them is going to be watching more football. That's going to be um, a resolution. And then another resolution is going to be, now I'm going to try to work out a little bit. I need to go to the gym. I understand that. I need to lose some weight. I need to do all that because those are all good things to do as New Year's resolutions. So have you got anything you want to do? Well, actually, when I was thinking about New Year's resolutions, I always remember when I was a little kid, like five, six, seven, and every year we would go over, like, what's your New Year's resolution? Well, I would get, like, so big and so bold in my resolutions. It was like, I'm never even eating chocolate again. Never, ever, ever. Or I'm never going to watch TV again. I'm just never for the rest of my life. They would be huge. And then, like, within a week, I was like, nibble nibble so it didn't work and then I finally realized as I got a little bit older that really the best resolutions were the kind that drew me closer to the Lord it's not that working out or eating rights not a good resolution but I really wanted to focus on the things that would draw me closer to God yep yep and I was just fooling around with those things now yeah I do need to work out and yeah I do need to lose some weight but I do understand that when it comes to New Year's resolutions, there's things that we can do that are easy to maintain throughout the entire year because when you make a resolution, you don't want to do it for just a short period of time and then you're done with it. You want to make sure that you commit to doing it for a solid year. That's what the New Year's resolution is all about. And when we look at the Bible, when we look at praying, when we look at worship to the Lord, it's something that we can set aside every single day to do to the Lord because those are the things that are going to have a greater impact in our life as we go. Yeah, I, you work out and you get buff and you, and you lose weight and you're all thin and whatnot, but has that really drawn you closer to the Lord? Well, you are going to be healthy and you are going to be in good shape, but here's the thing. You want your spirit man to be healthy. You want the inside. You want your heart to be healthy. And in order to do that, you want to fill it with great things. You want to fill it with the Word of God. So when it comes to this year, a great New Year's resolution is to do the 555, 15 minutes a day. It's all it takes. It's 15 it. minutes a day. And that's five minutes of prayer five minutes of reading your word and five minutes of either journaling writing down what god's saying to you or praise and worship it's an incredible way to get closer to god no matter what you're going through no matter what you're doing if you take that 15 minutes a day you will get closer to the lord and it is a phenomenal resolution that everybody can do it's not that hard i mean you guys i know 15 minutes it takes you 15 minutes to find a show to watch so the 15 minutes isn't the issue it's stopping and focusing on the Lord for those 15 minutes, that will make a dynamic difference in your life. It really will. Do you like to do your 15 in the morning or at night? I'm a morning guy. I like to do my 15 minutes in the morning, but sometimes I get so busy in the morning with getting the kids to the school and getting things done that I, I, I don't have time in the morning. But you know what? It's 15 minutes. I can find that 15 minutes, whether it's in the afternoon or whether it's in the evening before I go to bed. But as long as I'm spending that time with the Lord, that's the most important thing every day that I live. Now that is a good New Year's resolution, yes, it Pastor is. Jeff. So we want to pray with you guys so that you can be strengthened and you can be encouraged and remember to spend that time with the Lord. Five, five, five. So let's put our hands together. Let's bow our heads. Lord, we thank you, Father, that you are with us every step of the way. And we're asking for your help today, Lord, to remind us to spend that time with you. God, for giving us the things that we need to say in that time so we can draw close to you. And Father, I thank you for encouraging each person that's listening and watching right now so that they can draw closer to you in this new year. We love you. Amen. 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 We love you guys. Hope to see you soon. Have a good one. I would like for you to tell us your name. Addie Grace Mitchell, Axel Charlotte. Tell me two things that you want to get better at. I like playing with my mom. Maybe I'd be really good okay at sharing it. Because I don't really share my thoughts anymore. What's something that you want to do less of? You're like, um, that's probably not good. I should do that less. Jellyfish.
trying to see someone and not let any other fishes just in fighting in my dad's room with him. What's one thing that you want to learn this year? Get a new peach dress with gloves because she has gloves and an umbrella. Mm. I want to learn backflips. Mm. Push-ups. I know, I know how to get bad thoughts away in your head. You do? Mm -hmm. Bad thought go away in the name of Jesus. Mm. Happy 2021. Hey, Rock Kids and Rock Kids Junior. We are so excited that you guys got to join us this week. Let's not forget, let's do our five, five, five. Five minutes of reading your word, five minutes of talking to God, and five minutes of worshiping our God. All right, guys, bring your hands together and let's pray. God, I thank you that you have led us and guided us this far. God, I pray that you will continue to teach us how to do life with you. God, we thank you. God, we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bye, guys.